I'm sure we've all seen the video where the Tesla Cybertruck beat a Porsche 911 in a drag race. And that got me thinking, could I build something faster? Today, we're gonna figure that out. We're gonna build a car in automation from scratch. We're gonna try to build something faster, more powerful, and lighter than the Tesla Cybertruck. And then we're gonna take it into BMNG Drive to see how fast it can do a quarter mile, and of course, how well it can tow something. We need to pick what style of truck we want. Obviously, the Cybertruck is, well, a truck. We need to make a truck ourselves. The Cybertruck has four doors, right? Why don't I go with something like this? Four door. It's got a cool, like, wide body look to it. I think that could be a very good base. Let's start with that. Okay. <laughs> What is that bed? What are you supposed to haul with that, bro? The world's smallest spoon? I'm gonna make this thing out of carbon fiber. Then we're gonna give it, I guess, a full space frame like chassis. Look at that. We will make that chassis out of lightweight steel. Engine is obviously in the front. And then, you know what? Double wishbone shocks in the front. And in the back, we're gonna go leaf springs in the rear. Can I just say, look at this carbon fiber. This carbon fiber is so sick. Since we're a red-blooded American, I'm Canadian, I need a V8. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna call it. Oh, that's too big. This is the most un-American thing I've ever seen. Is it because it's like too small or something? I'm gonna go for a bigger pickup. I found a bigger one. Now this is American. V8 motor, please. Bro, it's massive, this car. I have the biggest V8 I possibly can, and it's not big enough. All right, I need dual overhead cams. We're making it out of billet steel forged lightweight pistons. Why don't we actually just get a turbo? Direct injection get a nice intake manifold made of carbon fiber again. And then I just need the world's fattest exhaust. Tubular race, dual exit. Then it's gotta be a thick, girthy boy and no mufflers. Oh. It has a 1,300 horsepower, but it blows up at 4,000 RPM. We got some tuning to do. Billet steel means the pistons and the conrods don't explode that quickly. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We get to 1,500 horsepower at 9,000 RPM. Just limit it to 9,000 RPM and it doesn't explode. We have 1,900 horsepower. Let's give it a quick little sound test, okay? We nailed it. And that is gonna power this thing. Well, you have a couple of things to fix. Number one, I need to fix these dinky wheels. Then match the rear to the front. Nice. Ride height. Yes, sir, baby. Now, doesn't that scream? I'm a bro dozer. I mean, I mean, what? Recently, I don't know why, but I've really been liking white pickup truck. The roof definitely has to be black. Bye-bye. All trim. This has also got to be black. Actually, this needs to be like black plastic. Very good. That looks... Looks sick. Now we've got to get into the really fun stuff. Let's be honest, boy. The Tesla Cybertruck is one of the ugliest cars ever made. Sorry. It's one of the most different cars ever made. I think in terms of the appearance, I could build a trash can and that would look nicer than a Cybertruck. I kind of want some headlights like this, you know? A bit angry looking. Chat, am I just building an F-150? Is that what I'm doing here? I need a massive vent in the middle. Bro, this is looking like a real truck. Wait, boys, if I'm trying to be a cyber truck, I need to be a wannabe Ford Raptor. Hold on. This is actually law. Legal requirement, boys. Doesn't that look sick? The front of this truck is already coming together. Let's work. I'll fix the bed after, okay? All right, I just need some quick tail lights. These will be more than five. I think in real life, this would be illegal too, right? You have to legally put them on a piece of bodywork that does not move. That's what I like to call good enough. Do we want extra downforce? I would just need to, you know, move this a bit, make it a bit ah, wider. We're going straight to jail. This is the worst thing I've ever done. Bro, it looks like a pram that your mum would push down the road. Hear me out, boys. I need this roll cage. Pop the roll cage in just like that. Then, what if I get these extra wheels? Now I look like a Baja truck, bro. How cool is that? The Tesla Cybertruck wishes 
that it could be this cool. I'm starting to feel like the rear wing doesn't go that well. It's not the greatest look. I also need an exhaust. Let's get a fat one. I like this already. Wait, I could get a roof rack. This is like my dream truck, bro. <laughs> and then... Last but not least, I need a tow hook. Maybe I just want a vent on the back. Could I get like a fake vent? And then what about edible tech? Boys, that is one of the coolest things I've ever done. I'm gonna go racing tires and rally tires. Look at those. I can even get all terrain. Chunky off-road. Bro, this looks so so sick. All right, so what's the game think of our car? Are there any problems with it? The rear tires blew out. Try increasing tire width. The car rolled over during testing? Uh-oh, not good, not good, not good. Okay, we're gonna need wider tires, boys. We now look very bro dozery, but it's okay. All right, let's send it to BeamNG Drive, and we will give it a go. As long as my truck doesn't explode, I think we're all good. I think we're good. Please don't blow up. After all of this, imagine if the truck doesn't win. Highly possible. Why does it sound like a tractor? Never mind, it doesn't sound like a tractor. How much boost does it build? 14 pounds of boost. No way. Whoa. When it's moving, it's fine. But when you press the gas, it does a bigger squat than... I'm not gonna make that joke. <laughs> I can now see why it rolled over in the testing. We gotta go off-road down here. This is sick! Land it. Oh my god, it can do jumps. It can properly do jumps, properly go over curves. There is definitely a couple of flaws, but overall, it's not bad. Definitely a couple of flaws. Our goal for today is to take down Elon Musk. And one of the places we need to take him down is on our drag strip. Elon Musk said the Tesla Cybertruck can do a quarter mile in less than 11 seconds. AKA, we need to have a 10 second car. If I lose this, I'm gonna be so sad. There's no way I just spent the last hour of my life and the truck's gonna lose. I guess we'll try attempt one with traction control on. We'll roll up to the line. Rev it up. Oh, terrible reaction time. I wasn't looking at the lights. What a launch. Oh my God. Oh my God. A 9.5. No way. I, I can't believe that. How did I do that? And how did it not crash? Bro made a much better off-roader. Facts. All right, ready? Oh. Traction control off has its problems. Oh, wheel very bad. Maybe I'll try throttle control this time, you know? Maybe that's a better idea. And go. I jumped the start. That's fine. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's undrivable. Oh my God. No. Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the truck. <laughs> I know what you're saying. When Elon Musk did it, he did it while towing a Porsche 911. I don't have a Porsche 911. So I'm gonna use the next closest thing. Nick, you know the race is a fraud? Hey, you shut your mouth. Elon Musk wouldn't lie to us like that. All right, boys, I've got my Porsche 911. I just need to load it up on the back of the trailer. <laughs> Look at this. Now I can jump in my pickup truck and I can connect up. I didn't actually make sure this works. My truck's a little tall, but that's fine. Ow. Uh, I'm just gonna pick it up. There we go. We're good. I fail to see what's wrong with this at all. Get your stopwatches out. We might need to do this by hand, okay? Two, one, go! I'm gonna turn on traction control. Get there. Yep, we're really close. This is the problem when your car's too tall. My pickup truck is too tall. It takes five to ten business days to get it to hook up. Two, one, go! Shit! Don't look at the Porsche 911. It is having some issues at the moment. Okay, I'm gonna drive slower, okay? Go. Much better. See, ha ha. Now we're good. See, this is fine. This is totally good. Not a problem. My trailer is having some problems. And across the line. Chat, what was my time? We did a 14 second drag time. In Tesla's universe, that's like 12 seconds. We're...
We're just gonna go and do some off-road testing with this thing. Off to Johnson Valley, everyone's favorite valley. This is our little off-road torture test challenge. I'm gonna do a couple of loops of this small little inner loop here. And I just kind of want to see if it survives. <laughs> I like it. This is good. This is good. We can just edit that out and no one will know. It's fine. Make the jump. Easy jump. Then we take a questionable racing line back up onto this path. Nice. See, I told you it works. It's flawless. Send it. Why does this keep happening to me? Wait, I have an idea. I have a question. Haven't you always wondered if you bought the right car for doing a ski jump? This is gonna go terribly. If we survive, it's a pass. And if we don't survive, we'll fudge the numbers and tell everyone we passed anyway. Oh my God. 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 200 miles. I, 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 can't, I can't control it. Land. Uh, uh oh. Uh, uh, no, you, um, that's not, not gone well. Land, 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 no! On the bright side, the engine didn't blow up. No shot. The engine still works, and by that logic, we nailed it. The AR-12 store, however, has seen better days. Yeah.